Man, finally here, man. A reality show. Young Dro third album. You know what I mean? I've been watching Young Dro ever since his uh, debut album. He's been in a lot of press, you know what I mean, as far as interviews, um, yeah, speculation, but it ain't about his personal life, you dig? But I will say this, the Breakfast Club interview that he did was hilarious. I didn't like how 97 interviewed because it seemed like they tried to play him or whatever, but we already know what's up with Dro. Dro is Dro at the end of the day. But uh, moving on, man, this album is crazy. 12 joints on here, a couple features, a few artists that's... Probably known where Dro at, but I've never heard of him. You got Trigger, Hollywood Luck, D.B. Bantino, uh, Candice Mims, Aya, and Rico Barino. Definitely, man, he starts the album off with Black History. Spazzed on that record. You know, it's just a quick few bars, you know what I mean? About a minute and some change. Nice, decent flow. His lyrics is on point. And you definitely got to listen to what he was saying. He was saying some real shit. Going into Coop, that beat was crazy. Now, this is where it flipped me because I'm like, yo, he used an auto-tune a little bit, which wasn't bad, you know, got a hood vibe to it, you know, street content or whatever. His flow was crazy on this as usual. Y'all already know Dro do what he do. Uh, going into Dead, his vocabulary was crazy. That beat was dope as fuck. You know, he just murdered that song. Now we get into We in the City. Uh, first single off this album, I like the video, this song, Dumbass Knock, it's a banger, leave it at that, then we get to Uh, that song is my favorite song on this project, man, one of them at least, I like the visual, this was the first record I actually heard off this project, I seen a video, and I was just like, listening to this shit now in my head, like, this nigga Dro is back, Uh, like, you feel me, his wordplay is phenomenal, man, Dro is just one of the greatest when it comes to that wordplay and vocabulary, uh, next to Rocco. Moving on to Parallel Park featuring Trigger. I didn't like that. I thought it was okay. Keeping it 100. Uh, then we go into Power featuring Hollywood Luck. Uh, very dramatic beat. Vibe. You know, it's like a street orientated record. You know what I mean? The hook was cool. Definitely something different, but I fuck with it. Um, moving on to It's Whatever featuring D.B. Bantino. The hook was weak as fuck. You know, Joe Bars, lyrics, and his flow was cool, but I just thought the song was alright. Um, Hustle Gang. Uh, on this joint right here, his unique style matched this beat perfectly. You know what I'm saying? The production on here matched his unique style. I'm going to say that and leave it at that. Um, moving on to Feeling Myself, that get three checks, you know, featuring Candace Mims. Basically talking about his life. You know, he was honest in the record. Nice, soulful hook, smooth beat. That song is dope. You know what I mean? That's that's one right there. That's the draw that I came to appreciate over the years. Testimonial featuring Aya, amazing spoken word over a great beat. She definitely did her thing. That totally shocked me because I thought it was a song, and then I ran it back like, oh, okay, that's what's up. You know what I mean? Because it goes into the last track, which is Hood Gospel. Uh, impactful song, you know, I will say that, featuring Rico Barino. And it's a great album, Closer. It's deep. You really got to listen to it to see what Joe talking about. Overall, I definitely like this album a little bit more than his last project, uh, High Tunes. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. 10 of the joints I fuck with, production 7.5 out of 10. He was definitely focused on this, you know what I mean? I didn't listen to the mixtape Hellcat, you know, I kind of passed on that. But other than that, man, Dro do what Dro do. Definitely a good um, album. Glad I supported it, you know what I mean? Sorry for the review so late. But y'all let me know what y'all think about Dro album, man. I'm trying to hear what y'all talking about out there. Other than that, leave it in the comments. One.